Let's face it, communicating is hard and sometimes as a male it is hard to communicate what you want to say. With Manly, it makes it easier to communicate what you might want to say. For instance, let's say you are looking for a raise instead of just asking for a raise. With Manly, you might want to say something like, Look, you better give me that raise now, or I'll tell your wife what you did with the cheap stripper last year. Oh, yeah. Say your friend is sad instead of saying something gay like, Cheer up, brother. How about with Manly, same something like this. Look, dude, there are plenty of whores at the local bar. Let's get some Slim Jims and some booze. Oh, yeah. And if you're out with the guys and your girlfriend sends you a text instead of texting sorry about that, maybe say something like Manly would say. Look, woman, get back in the kitchen and make me some donuts. I'm out with the dudes. Oh, yeah. Download Manly today and stop the whining and start winning. And if you download now, you might not be such a wuss anymore. Download Manly today or you're gay. Oh, yeah. Today, guys, we're going to talk about 10 life hacks to make a YouTube video every day, how to do it. So let's begin. Number one thing you will need to do is to get organized. If you go back to time when they used to make comedy shows or news shows, they would have a whiteboard with uh, show ideas. Once the show ideas or what's the upcoming event coming up, then the writers would write around it or they would write uh, the news around it. And like I said, shows that were produced ahead of time, and we'll get into that later. So I would recommend to get organized is to invest into a wipe board. You can get these at the dollar store, but I don't highly recommend those because they break really easy. Of course, you can place them on refrigerators, you can place them on the wall, you can place them on a desk like I do. And then once you're completed the go, you can uh, wipe it out. So one thing I do is uh, with the whiteboard is I try to figure out what days should have what videos. So I'll say Monday we'll do this, Tuesday we do this, Wednesday we do this, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So what you have to figure out once you do that, once you figure out what days to release what video, figure out which one is the hardest and work on that first. For instance, if it includes more editing or more dubbing, then you should go ahead and work out that one first. Upload ahead. Once you do that, once you have created your video, you want to do it ahead of time. I recommend seven days in advance to almost two weeks in advance. If you're creating seven videos for the entire week, which you need to do, you can possibly do that in a two-day period, possibly four-day period. You need to release them ahead. So set your day. I recommend going for the first of the month. If you start in the middle of the month and you'll say this is July 15th, which it isn't, well, you would start August 1st is when you release your video, or I would say Monday, August 1st is when I release the video. So once you have decided your goal date, then once you upload that video, you'll go ahead and produce the thumbnail, the information about the video, and then you'll release the video and it'll go out August the 1st. So I, that's what I would do to try to do, start this because, and you'd let, let people know, keep up to date with your Instagram, keep it up to date with your TikTok, keep up to date with your social media, Facebook, let people know you're making videos. That's the reason why you may not be releasing some in the next two weeks, you know, just for the sake of, you know, letting people know. You know, that's the whole thing. There's an excuse is something that you make afterwards. If it's an explanation is something that you make before the video. So explain to people, I'm not going to be making videos for a couple of weeks or three weeks because I'm making more content for you. That's especially for you because that's your number one people you need to target is those people that you make a video for. Um, number four, set up a date to start. Okay. Five, devote days. You're going to devote your days for specific things one day for uploading maybe or one day for editing. So for instance, set up a day of just filming. You can film maybe four or five videos in one day. Now I worked a full-time job, eight hours, and then after I did the job, I would spend four hours on YouTube. So what I would do is after I got done with work, I would possibly go ahead and do dubbing first. Then I would provide the images probably the second day, third day, edit it, fourth day, upload. In fact, I would upload videos 
while I'm at work. Now it made it a little easier when we were in lockdown because I could run upstairs, make sure videos were uploaded or up sh make sure videos are rendering or make sure videos are finalizing when I was working at home because of the lockdown. But let's say you weren't locked down, you're working at your job. You get off that job, start working on a few things that one day say, for instance, that's the reason why the whiteboard is so important. You can say Monday, that's our dubbing day. So that's the day you might record audio on Monday. Tuesday, that's the day we film. So that's the day you film. Wednesday, that's the day I edit. Maybe Thursday as well. Because sometimes when you start out editing, it may take a little bit longer. This is the reason why I would give yourself two weeks before you start uploading on a daily basis. That way you have time to edit more, add music, download music, whatever you got to do to get those videos. Because the easiest is going to be probably finalizing it and uploading it because you're really not doing anything then. While something is finalizing or uploading, you need to film. You take the camera down, let's go film while something is uploading or something is finalizing because you need the gigabytes on your computer so you're probably not going to be online to get that up there so let's film okay so that's really why you need to organize your days and uh, of course I would recommend maybe devoting one day to socializing I used to one of my original channels I did was I would get up on I believe it was Thursday morning and I would go and see who subscribed and I'd see how they were doing uh, sometimes it would be on the weekends one young lady who used to upload videos and she had a large following she on the weekend would go by and check on all of our uh, subscribers and say hey how you doing I just seen how you like our content so you know they maybe do that on a Thursday or something like that I'll probably start doing that again I kind of up done with that because I've been on Instagram and other social medias or Facebook and not paying attention to that uh, number six is write your ideas down uh, something about writing something down sticks in your head psychologically better and also take a break from the computer and write things down because uh, go when you go to lunch go to out lunch take a pen and paper with you get some ideas start writing things down while you're eating a lunch I used to go to Burger King and places like that and just sit there and just start writing ideas down and spend an hour two hours in the place just a different environment to get away from you know the the office home office I guess you would say now if you like this video give us a thumbs up and join the crew by subscribing and clicking the bell number seven uh, use your computer's uh, or uh, phone calendar so you have a calendar on your phone you also have a calendar on your computer as the ideas come to head go ahead and type them into your calendar say you're going to be working on the computer you're maybe making a thumbnail okay an idea pops into your head write it down on the calendar to remind you the next day or the day that you have something set aside for wednesdays instance i devote everything to my podcast on wednesdays okay i have an idea for a podcast that pops in my head while i'm making a thumbnail i'll put in get in contact maybe with that podcaster if that's a situation to try to book them or try to uh, uh, take time to find out some uh, podcast monetization anything that you need to do for that for regarding podcast for that day I'll go ahead and put it on the calendar so I have a day because like Wednesday I'll be like well what am I supposed to do and all of a sudden the calendar pops up 9 o'clock a.m. get a hold of podcaster 10 o'clock get a hold of monetization uh, situation for podcasting you know 11 o'clock go ahead and start booking other podcasters 12 o'clock record a podcast you know have it on your calendar and it will let you know as your notifications are doing things and of course uh, number eight which is a really great thing to do is make templates learn how to make templates for your thumbnails learn how to make a template for your videos and what I'm trying to say is when I do a video like this I already have a, an effect that I'm going to use that's pre-saved I've already adjusted from a, another video that I'm going to use on this video so have your templates ready have a template in your audio already ready when you're doing your mixing so you don't have to go and readjust your EQ again and readjust your gating or anything like that have templates they're good to use everything audio video photograph uh, everything because I'm gonna tell you right now when you first start out it may take an entire day that's the reason I say give yourself maybe two weeks before you start uh, recording uh, a day a video a day so go ahead and but once you get the template set up for instance today I have five four videos I have four videos uploading 
and another video that is being finalized while I'm recording this. You see how this is helpful? <laughs> Why do this? Number nine, while you're video editing, while you're podcasting, while you're doing anything, what you devoted that day for, turn off your notifications, off your phone, turn them off your computer, turn off your messenger, turn off your Facebook, turn off everything. Devote your time to that video. People say, well, I got kids and they might be in school. Okay, let me put, tell you something right now. You're not going to get this done unless you set aside some strict discipline. And my discipline is really simple. The things that you do, like scrolling through Facebook, you're not going to do when you're video editing. Turn that phone off and just set it for phone. Put the phone on silent. Put it in your pocket. When you hear a vibration, you know, if the kids, you know, might have gotten a fight at school, put it on vibration. That way you know that, you know, the principal, give your phone number out to only a few people because uh, a lot of times my issues is spamming. The more I do as business going, you're targeted from sellers. Uh, check your phone. If it says unknown uh, number, don't answer it. If it says yeah, so-and-so school, you know it's just kids. If it's got your kids' number, you know, Brian, Whitney, Brittany, uh, Joe, Joseph, whatever. If you see those names, those are the time to pick up. But anything else, look at that phone. If you get a vibration, pull it out and see if it's important. If it's not important, put it to side. Turn those notifications off. If it's Jenny who just wants to send you a thing on Facebook Messenger, Turn it off. Turn off those notifications. Every notification you can take, everything's done. And then when all that's done, then you can do that. Uh, you know, realize this is a job and this is important to you. If you don't got that in your mindset, don't even start doing this. This is work, folks. This is, I know it's work that I find fun, but it's my job. And I'm not going to answer a phone or answer a fan just because uh, to stop for video editing because I'm doing things for those fans, all right? Uh, that's what I'm trying to say. If you're in a relationship, maybe kind of share. Uh, you know, if you're in a relationship with wife, say, honey, four hours, I've got to go to YouTube. Well, during this time, will you answer the call? And the same thing with her. Have you take the turn on doing this. You know, you've got to be organized. That's what the whiteboard is for. That's what I love about it. People today will stop at nothing just to read a notification, and they don't get anything done. All right, number nine that was the turn off notification number nine was turn off but number 10 most of all take a break away from technology and let me tell you something like i said i worked eight hours a day i do four hours of making videos devoting to youtube now that i'm doing this full time right now i'm i've expanded on to a podcast i've expanded on to making music again we're going to be selling drum loops all these things that I've devoted, but when I do the four hours a day, that's all you really need for YouTube. So you're talking, I'm saying 20 hours a week of your time. Five times four is 20. Have those videos uploaded on Saturday and Sunday. Saturday, go hiking. Turn off the computer, take the family to the beach, take them to the park, no cell phones, no computer, maybe one cell phone for emergencies. Take that stuff and throw it on the bed Pack up and get out of town Saturday. Sunday morning, go to church or devote some time to something of importance and, and forget about these other things. Forget about that stuff. So those are my 10 life hacks to making a video every day. I know you can do this. We'll get into more things. Talk to you later.